state of the market. It is end of February 2016. Where are we? What are we doing? And where are we going in the future? This is the biggest question that everyone wants to know. 2016, I'm just going to start it off right off the bat. This is the, the final year. If you're looking to trade any inventory, if you're looking to do any transactions, this is the year to do it. I'm going to keep on saying this probably as a theme throughout 2016 because we had a very volatile stock market in the beginning of 2016. We had a huge 2015, absolutely massive 2016. Manhattan in of itself, prices shot up over 7%. Brooklyn shot up over 8%. And for the first time, first time the median, median, price was over a million dollars in Manhattan ever. So we have record prices. Obviously the average sales price is also at a record price. Uh, with regards to the rental market, the rental market in Manhattan was up four and a half percent. Brooklyn was up just over two percent. So Brooklyn in sales is extremely hot. If you go out to Brooklyn, we have a, a developer that we're going to be working with, and an Israeli developer that has about a dozen projects going on right now. If you hop out to Williamsburg, if you go to Park Slope, if you go anywhere in Brooklyn, just right over the bridge on the first stop on the subway, and you look out, you're going to see, see scaffolding. It's absolutely incredible what's going on in Brooklyn. And the reason being is that Manhattan has kind of been priced out in the fact that if you're looking to build in Manhattan, it is so expensive. Raw land is just at record prices, and if you want to get any tax credits, you have to go union labor. And then if you want to do anything to actually recoup your costs, you have to go high-end finishes, doorman amenities. And then what does that lead to? The Uber luxury. Uber luxury, 5 million starting prices and going up to 100 million. And to be honest, my appraisal, it's its already my appraisal. I like that. Edit in that little uh, real estate term. My appraisal is that its it's already maxed out. The Uber luxury, there's only a certain amount of people and they've been absorbed. The Uber luxury, obviously, like I mentioned, very high end, 10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollar apartments, not talking about townhouses, but apartments and buildings that you're looking at, you know, billionaires row, 157, uh, 157, 432 Park Avenue, you have CPW uh, is putting up a, a beautiful new structure that's coming out in about two years. Uh, Central Park South, I'm sorry. Central Park South is coming out with a beautiful new structure, but the thing is, whoever is gonna be president, regardless, Republican or Democrat, is gonna be walking into a recession. There's obviously a prediction. We're not, I'm, I can't tell the future, but I can tell you right now is that New York City, we really started coming out of the market in 2008, 2009, the recession of 2008, 2009, we started coming out in 2010. So we're already six years of growth, of just steady growth. And from 2013 to about 2015, it was absolute chaos. And right now, if you're a seller, you're sitting on a beautiful property. If you're a buyer, you're, you still have time to move in. But like I said in the beginning part of the video is that you need to trade this year. If you're looking to sell and buy, you need to do it this year because yes, pricing next year is gonna be, or maybe not next year, but towards the end of next year and going into 2018, is gonna be a little less expensive. The thing is, you're not gonna be able to sell. There's gonna be no buyers. Listen, I experienced 2008, 2009, 2009 as a real estate agent, but 2008, in finances in the financial services world and in both cases no one was looking to do anything no one was looking to trade everyone was afraid but the thing is all the money is made in recessions obviously the smartest people know that or the people that have the most money so if you want to buy I would wait and liquidate which I know a lot of people are doing they're liquidating waiting for this recession so those are the numbers with regards to what to do in Manhattan so if you're looking to buy you have to buy this year next year it's going to be good but the inventory is not going to be as plentiful as it is right now we're going to go up and I have the forecast of what they're talking about right now we're going to go up in the first quarter of 2016, which we're in right now, second quarter, and then towards the end of the third quarter, going into the election, which there's going to be nothing, no huge uh, legislation that's going to go through. There's nothing going to be that, that's going to really go into turmoil. So we're going to have a pretty steady market. The forecast, this is just the forecast, is that Brooklyn's going to go up this year, 2016, 4.2%, and the forecast for Manhattan is 0.8%. So listen, I wish I could tell you something different. I agree with that because there is there is a lot of inventory going on right now. So if you are a seller, you need to sell this year. If you're a buyer, you need to buy because otherwise you're not going to be able to liquidate the prices of, say, your stock or your securities or whatever you're holding your, your down payment or your cash in. So just keep that in mind is that, yes, the pricing of real estate is going to be lower, but also your stock price is going to be lower. So you really want to get in. And we don't know where the interest rates are going. Interest rates have, stead not steadily, 
incrementally cl climbed a little bit from the middle of 2015 to this year. You know, people that locked it in last year, 2015, you really got an amazing rate. It, I would also check in at refinancing going into what I feel is gonna be a recession next year or the year after. So anyway, if you do have any questions, if you do have any statements with the, the market, feel free to reach out to us. We're obviously never too busy for any of your referrals and we're always here to help you out. You know, I understand that I just gave you a lot of information. There's a lot of things to think about, but that's really, this is your biggest investment. You need to make a wise decision. You need to have a professional on your side. You need to have someone that's in the gutters, in the gutters, in the streets, that's pounding the pavement, that's calling on buyers, that's calling on sellers, that's talking to agents, that's putting in offers, that understands the marketplace like we do. So if you have any questions, let us know. If we can be of any assistance, please let us know. Subscribe to the video, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Those are our three favorite social media networks. Talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome day.